Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Storytime with the Birmingham Public Library. My name is Mrs. Eve, and today I've got some dogs and some cats to talk to you about favorite family pets. Cats are very interesting little creatures. They're very soft, and you just want to hold them and cuddle them, but they're very independent, which means they want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And so a cat might roll over and let you scratch its belly, but suddenly it decides it doesn't want to be scratched anymore and it might grab you and bite you, ouch! <laughs> so it's good to watch their tails to get a sense of how they're feeling. If their tail goes between their legs, it means they're scared, so beware. If their tail goes straight up, and starts wagging very, very fast, it means they're aggravated, so beware. If their tail goes up like this into a question mark, it means that they want to play, so get out your ball of yarn and play with your cat tail. Cats are natural predators, which means they like to hunt. They hunt birds and mice and other small creatures. So if you have a house cat and it doesn't get to go outside and hunt, it might get the zoomies. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> um, cats are very fastidious, which means they are very clean and neat. They will lick their paws to get them nice and clean and then they'll use that clean wet paw to wash their whiskers and their ears. They'll lick their hind quarters to get nice and clean. And they always like to wash themselves very thoroughly after a meal. And there's a reason for that. This story comes from Eastern Europe. You see, once upon a time, there was a cat who was very hungry. Ew, I'm so hungry. I'm so rumbly, 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 and my tumbly, tumbly, tumbly. Well, just then, that cat spied a bird, and it started to creep very quietly towards that bird. Then it sprang and grabbed the bird. It was about ready to take a bite when the bird spoke up. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Cat, I cannot believe your bad manners. Why? are supposed to wash their paws before they eat. Didn't you know that? Were you raised in a barn? Well, the cat didn't want anybody to think that he had bad manners or he was reared in a barn. So he let that bird go in order to wash his paws. And the bird flew away. And to this day, cats wash their paws after they eat instead of before they eat. And that is the story. Oh my goodness. Mwah. If you have a pet cat, we could practice petting that cat, or if it's a stuffed cat. Cats like to be rubbed on their face more than anywhere else. So grab your stuffed cat and let's practice petting your cat with this little song. It goes like this. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> a cat's purr sounds sort of like an engine running, doesn't it? <laughs> well, let's put this little kitty here while I get a dog. Oh, I love dogs. Dogs are said to be man's best friend, and I would agree with that. They are such good companions, and they're so loyal. Now you can also tell a lot about a dog from its tail. Just like a cat, if a dog puts his tail between his legs, it means he's scared. And if his tail is high and wagging very, very fast, it means he's feeling aggressive. That's not a friendly wag. But if his tail is wagging all over and his little behind is wagging with it, that is a very, very friendly dog. This is my dog. He's a real dog and his name is Brogdon. You know, dogs come in all sizes and all shapes and, and all colors. My dog is a mutt, which means he's a mixture of different types of breeds of dog. And he's a rescue dog, which means that he got adopted because nobody else seemed to want him. 
He is such a good fella. And he loves to go for walks with me. And when we go for walks, children often want to run up to him and pet him. So I want to talk to you about how to approach a dog if it's not your dog. You always want to ask permission of the human that's with that dog before you pet it. You can just say, may I please pet your dog? And if the human says yes, then you can approach your dog, the dog. Sort of curl your fingers under like this and let the dog sniff your hand. And if he sniffs it, that's a good sign. If he doesn't want to sniff your dog, if he doesn't want to sniff your hand, it probably means he doesn't want to be petted. But if he sniffs your hand like that, then go ahead and take your hand and rub him under his chin or on the side of his face. If you put your hand over his head and he doesn't know you, that's sort of aggressive and he might get scared. But if he lets you rub him under the chin, then you can go ahead and and scratch him all over. My dog really likes to be scratched on his behind. He likes that the best of all, but he's a good fella. There's a song about a dog that I would love to share with you guys right now. Here we go, go on down, Bragdon. And it goes like this, it's about a dog named Rags, and his ears go flip flop, his tail wig wags, and when he walks, he goes zig and zag. So help me out with this song. I have a dog, his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zig and zag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zig zag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zig zag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zig zag. I love Rags. And he loves me. My little puppy likes to play. He rolls around in the grass all day. Then I whistle, but he won't obey. He always runs the other way. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love rags and he loves me. <laughs> that is such a fun song. Well, if ever you see a dog out and they meet a cat and they don't know each other, the chances are that that dog will want to chase that cat. <laughs> and there's a reason why, according to this African American story. You see, once upon a time, a long time ago, dog woof, woof, woof. and cat meow, were the best of friends. They did everything together. In the mornings, they'd wake up and they'd eat breakfast together. Mmm, that sure was yummy. They'd go for walks together. La, 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 And then they'd eat a snack together. Meow, <coughs> that's your watch, Nami. And then they might take a nap together. <coughs> but the thing they liked to do the best together was eat. And the thing they liked to eat the most was ham. Now, one day, Dog said to Cat, he said, Hey, Cat, you got any money? <laughs> I got an idea then. Why don't we put our money together and go into town and buy ourselves a ham? Meow! Great idea! And so that's what they did. They put their money together and they went into town shopping for the very biggest, juiciest ham their money could buy. Well, when they found it, they started for home. But it was so big, they had to take turns carrying it. Now, Dog got the first turn, and as he carried that ham, he started singing a song. It's our ham, it's our ham, it's our ham. Well, then it was Cat's turn to carry that ham, and Cat sang a song, too. It's my ham, it's my ham. Dog 
dog noticed the cat had changed the words to that song, but dog didn't say anything. Mm -mm. He just waited till it was his turn again, and he went back to singing his song. It's our ham, it's our ham, it's our ham. And then it was cat's turn again, and cat went back to singing the same old song as before. It's my ham, it's my ham, it's my ham. Well, dog was so angry, dog said, Now, cat, you listen here. You and me, we both put our money in on this ham. This is our ham. It's not your ham. It's not my ham. It's our ham. Our ham. Well, Cat kept on singing that song. It's my ham. It's my ham. It's my ham. Just then, they reached a street with a tree that was great, big, and tall, and Cat lit out for that tree with that ham in his mouth. He carried that ham all the way to the top of the tree and sat down and ate it all up while that poor dog had to sit on the ground because he couldn't climb trees. Ow! When that cat had finished that ham, dog said to cat, Cat, I can't believe you ate our ham. But when you came down out of that tree, I am going to chase you till the ends of the earth. And that is why to this day, dog chases cat. Because cat would not share that ham. I think that's a good cautionary tale. What do you think? I think... I will always share with my friends. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, well, I have one more dog who wanted to say hello to you before we say goodbye. This is Jasbo. <laughs> Hi guys. Jasbo, you told me you wanted to come out today, but you didn't tell me why. Because I want to tell you some jokes. I just love jokes. Oh, Jasbo, I like jokes too. Okay, tell me a joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did the daddy dog climb into the freezer? Uh, I don't know. Because he wanted to hide from everybody? No, because he wanted to be an ass pop. <laughs> Oh, Jasbo, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Do you have another joke for us? Uh, yeah. Why did the puppy go to the beach? I don't know. Why did the puppy go to the beach? It wanted to be a hot dog. <laughs> oh, Jasbo, that is pretty funny. <laughs> hey, I got another one. Have you ever done a knock-knock joke? Uh. Yeah, I know about knock-knock jokes. Okay then, knock-knock. Who's there? Sherwood. Sherwood who? Sherwood like a nice juicy bone to chew on. <laughs> okay, I got another one for ya. Knock-knock. Who's there? Arthur. Arthur who? Are there any kids out there who can read me a book? <laughs> Oh, Jasbo, you are too silly. Okay, but you know what, Jasbo, it is time for us to say goodbye. So why don't we close with one more knock-knock joke. Hey, I'm going to ask it to you. Knock-knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Boo who? Oh, don't cry. I promise we'll come back again sometime soon and see all of you guys. But until then... Goodbye, everybody. Stay safe, and I hope to see you soon at the library.